<laughs> Welcome to an Origin of Energy Movement session. So today I'm doing a max session and just doing four to eight reps of each lift. So I've got a clean for the first movement, then going into a bar dip, then going into a box jump. So the first one's a clean, so there's different progressions. Obviously, um, if you haven't got a good deadlift, you want to start with a deadlift. So, getting a nice grip on the bar, chest up, shoulders back, legs, hips, hips, once you pass the knees, legs. So you want to work on that first. If you haven't got a barbell, using a kettlebell is quite good, having it in between the legs. Or, you know, if you've got something like a heavy bag or something you can use at home, that works as well. But if you're going on minimal equipment, I'd at least purchase, like if you are going to train at home, an adjustable kettlebell goes up to 40 kilos, it makes it quite hard. And if you want a harder work, you do single arm or whatever. Okay, next one we're going into is the clean. So what we want to get here is a high pull before we go into the clean, actually. So let's look at the high pull. So I'm using that same deadlift position. We go slow, once I pass the knees here, up, use the legs. It's like I'm jumping, but my feet are stuck, balls of the feet are stuck to the ground, I'm pulling that bar up and it pulls me under. After that, once I can get a nice high pull, then I can look at jumping under the bar. It takes quite a lot of flexibility. Some people just, you know, have got quite restricted wrists and they'll never really get a good rack position, so they might be better off actually using a kettlebell or double kettlebell, where they can get an easier rack position like that. So they get a high pull, wrap and bring that elbow forward and it's a lot easier on the wrist. If you do have the wrist flexibility, um, then the clean is great exercise, but it's not for everyone. And definitely not missing out if you just use two kettlebells or use two dumbbells. Um, just a different type of workout. Obviously it's easier to go heavier when you've got a barbell. So just using a, a clean, but it's a power clean because it's a bit lighter still. If I was going heavier, I'd have to jump under it more. So nice high pull, then I'm just going to get those elbows on that. So legs, hips, and jump on the bar. Okay, so I really want to get that nice shrug, using the whole body to get that bar up as high as I can. After that, I'm starting every four minutes, starting the first exercise. Next one, I'm going to go into the dip. So with the dip, um, if you're using a band, as an example, just chuck that over, chuck your hands on it. Ideally when you're first starting off, then we'll touch the ground. Every rep, you want to lean in as you come down, touch the ground, drive up. That way you can just get that stable position at the bottom. After that, lean in, lead the feet off, right up. Then you can work up to working full body weight or in a max session, adding weight. So whether you use a dumbbell between the legs or a kettlebell, um, or a vest. So today I'll, I'll use um, the weighted dumbbell, just using a belt, and then just whack it in here. And then that way, I can get a decent load. So if I chuck that over, and then just stand inside of that, That'll give me a decent amount of load to work at that rep range. So just hang that there, big breath in, drive it up. I'm just doing four to eight reps. Um, so if you don't have dip bars, using two benches or two chairs, you can do that at home. Or just if you have a you know another minimal equipment thing would be to get a bar, get a set of rings, and then have an adjustable kettlebell. You've got a pretty awesome gym just with those three things. Next up, we're doing the box jump. So you want a, a decent challenge for yourself. So always warm up with a nice step up. This is quite high. And working that full range of motion. The box jump's very much like the clean, and you get that nice vertical position and then you've got to tuck to get up onto the box. Whereas when you're using the bar, you're tucking to get under the bar. So here I just want to get a nice high jump and tuck onto the box. Because I'm just focusing on the jump today, I'll step off the box. Yep. And nice and light. 
Now if I want to make it harder, you just progress. I just use the plates on top and then build the and if you just go up by small increments, it allows you to build the confidence to just make those gradual progressions. So get nice and high with the chest. Up. Like that. Very simple. So that's our max workout today. Just doing six sets, 24 minutes. Pretty simple. Straightforward. I'll see you next time. I'm Aaron McKenzie. Enjoy. Ciao.